Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Bitcoin and the big question on everyone's mind. Where is it headed next? We've seen some price drops recently, but is this just a typical bull market pullback or are we headed for something bigger? Stick around as we break down the latest market trends, key economic data, and what this could mean for Bitcoin's future. Let's jump right in. Now, if you've been watching the markets, you know that Bitcoin faced some selling pressure recently, dropping nearly 3% on Monday to around 63,600. This comes after Bitcoin hit highs near 66,500 last week, a strong rally from the September 6th low of 52,600. But now we're seeing Bitcoin breach some key support levels, and this could signal a short-term pullback. So what's behind this dip? Well, according to 10 times research, the market is showing signs of being overbought which often leads to these kinds of corrections in bull markets. Marcus Thielen from 10 Times Research pointed out that last week's heightened greed and fear index levels were a clear indication of overbought conditions. He said that short-term reversal signals have already turned bearish, making this pullback likely. But here's the kicker. Bitcoin's recent price drops could also be linked to some key US data that's set to drop tomorrow. The ISM manufacturing data, which comes out in the first week of the month, has triggered 10% price drops in the first week of the past three months. So it's no surprise we're seeing similar patterns this time around. The ISM manufacturing new orders data shows that forward-looking indicators are slipping to near recession levels. If tomorrow's report comes in below expectations, specifically if the reading falls below 48, we could see Bitcoin's dip even further. But on the flip side, if the report beats expectations, we might witness a rally. Looking at the bigger picture, Thielen and many other analysts are still optimistic about Bitcoin's performance in the fourth quarter. Why? Well, there's growing confidence that the Federal Reserve is gearing up for another 50 basis point interest rate cut. Combine that with China's recent massive stimulus announcement, we've got a recipe for bullish sentiment in the markets. So what does this all mean for Bitcoin? In the short term, we might see some more volatility, especially with the US data coming out tomorrow. But in the long run, the fourth quarter could still hold some major gains for Bitcoin, especially if the Fed cuts rates and China continues its stimulus efforts. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to our monetization levels. Thanks a lot. Play hard, trade smart. This is the Crypto Realm.